All right, welcome back to the channel. This is video number two in how to properly flash a chimney series. And if you wanna learn how to do these funky details, stay tuned. These are gonna be good videos. All right, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex. In today's video, we're going into video number two of a five part series that we call how to properly flash a chimney with standing sea metal roofing. Just a reminder, if you missed part one, I suggest you go back to that video and watch it before watching this one because it kind of goes in order. So make sure you go click back on that one. I'll put a card uh, up in the top corner up here. Make sure to click on that and go watch the video. So what we're doing in this video is we're gonna go over how to transfer the measurements from that jig that I just uh, referred to, to the metal itself. And then we're gonna properly notch it, we're gonna properly pocket fold it, and then we're going to actually put it in and install it on, on the front part of the chimney. So there's more videos to come in this series. Always make sure to watch the videos from beginning to end as there is a ton of information packed into these. So guys, thank you for joining on, I appreciate you and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. First step in the process, establishing side wall height to get a proper front wall height. Do it in this order, not the other way around. Now we're gonna lay in our water check, wall height, water check, wall height. Notice we're using a double male panel square off those lines so we know exactly where we're cutting. Next step in the process is cutting on these lines straight across the top, down the side, and we're also going to bend these tabs down. Once we've got them bent down, we're gonna cut off the excess. Notice I am keeping some of that material on there because these tabs are going to be a crucial part of the water check later on in the detail. So we'll bend those down and cut the excess off on the remaining side of the panel. All right, next we're gonna notch to get our wall abutment pinch seam started. Guys, keep in mind these details are waterproof details. And what they do is they allow us to transfer from the roof to the wall without any use of trims or Z closure, any reliance on, on sealant or solder. So, what we're doing now is getting ready for our jig that we made in a previous video, which I will click to in the top right corner. If you want to see how it's done, I would suggest you go back and watch that video. This jig right here is a very useful tool, but they will change for every pitch. All right, starting to form the pocket. I just get a pair of, you can use a pair of needle nose. These ones I, I get at a specialty tool store, which I'll link down in the description. But basically we're twisting, like you see I'm doing here. And you can see the, the top panel already start to want to lift. And these are the details we're talking about. No notching folding techniques which allow this panel to be folded up like I'm starting to do here. I'm folding those top seams down and you'll see why in a second here why we do that. This can be done with um, any sort of maybe box and pan break or uh, Wuko like I have here, but I'm gonna just finish it off as if you guys don't have access to these tools We're, we're gonna do things by hand to really get 
a feel for these details. You know, to do them better is easy, but to do them by hand is, is really where the craftsmanship comes into play. Here we have our pinch seams pointing inward and our flaps squished down. We can now take the panel to the chimney, lay in our clips, and we do a, a little clip snip trick that I'd like to show you now to prevent that panel from sliding down the roof. And we're gonna just snip along the top of the seam, as you can see here, and lift up and bang over. You'll see a little bit better here, but as you can see, the panel's already staying up. It's not sliding down the roof at all. So I'm gonna zoom in here and show you. We're, we're cutting the top of the male seam and banging it down and over the top of the clip. So you can see it kind of top hooks down. You cannot pull down on that thing. Here we have the final product. That water check I left unbent. We're gonna do that when we're done this detail. Guys, thanks for watching. Click onto the next video in the series right here, or click another video you think YouTube wants you to watch, and thanks for watching.